The people in darkness have seen a great light. These were the words of the prophet Isaiah in the first reading for the third Sunday in Ordinary Time. They're also repeated in the gospel when Jesus shows himself as the light of the world and proclaims the kingdom of God. He approaches Simon and Andrew on the shore and he says to two seasoned fishermen, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. The one thing they would have understood immediately is that Jesus was showing them a particular way of attracting people to God. Fishing means that you have to find exactly where people are at and how a particular lure or net or way of attracting them. And that's exactly what he said to James and John. Come follow me. And they left their nets and they followed the Lord. Everyone has a kind of net in their life, a web of life woven around them, a culture, a group of interior associations and values to which they respond. Understanding how someone likes to be loved, understanding the way that they enjoy being human or their culture is a way of attracting people with a, a, a beautiful kind of a fullness to the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's something that we are called to do, that with every person who crosses our path, we should ask the question, how does Jesus Christ want me to love them? And in marriage and family, you should probably ask that question about 30 or 40 times a day with your spouse, your children, your parents, as a way of loving and serving the people in your home and as a very clear road to holiness. The other thing that's quite important is that if you notice the apostles left their nets immediately and followed the Lord. They turned away from their life and they followed Jesus. This is something that we have to do every day. We have to turn away from everything and everyone and follow Christ. Christ himself left the poor unfed, the sick unhealed, the ignorant untaught, and he went and prayed to the Father so much that the apostles are saying, where is he? We have to turn away from all things and focus on God in a daily life of prayer and a daily encounter with the Lord Jesus. If we do this, he will make us fishers of men.